Getting reaction from the White House after Russian missiles killed two people in Poland. Plus, Senator Rick Scott's bid to challenge Mitch McConnell as minority leader of the Senate did not go very well and did not go very far. D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live at the White House with more. Ben. Eden Cavill, we'll get to the Senate in just a bit, but first let's talk about Poland. The U.S. and its allies say it is not Ukraine's fault as Russia has denied any responsibility. Well, good afternoon. The Pentagon held a briefing Wednesday to talk about Russia's war in Ukraine and a recent missile strike. A deadly explosion in Poland near its border with Ukraine. Poland's president called it an unfortunate accident that does not appear to be an intentional strike that killed two people, as the U.S. is now assisting Poland to determine what happened. Investigation's ongoing. There's professionals there to do the forensics. The White House released a statement in part that whatever the final conclusions may be, it is clear that the party ultimately responded responsible for this tragic incident is Russia. Russia's deliberate cruelty only deepens our resolve. And we'll continue to, to support Ukraine's bedrock right to defend itself. His remarks come as... President Biden arrived back in the U.S., returning to the states as control of Congress is still undecided. Republicans are one seat away from taking the House, while Democrats will maintain control of the Senate. It comes as the GOP re-elected Mitch McConnell Wednesday as Senate Minority Leader, holding off Florida Senator Rick Scott, who challenged him for the job. So I'm not in any way offended by having an opponent or having a few votes in opposition. Now the final vote was 37 to 10. McConnell has been the Republican leader in the Senate since 2007. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.